In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up your Power Teacher Gradebook and your Schoology Gradebook and configure the sync between the two programs. We're going to start in Power Teacher Pro. The first thing we need to do is confirm that the categories have been created so that we can assign categories to the class and then weight those categories appropriately. So when we go to Grading and Categories, that will allow us to look at the active categories that are available for a class. If you have a category that's inactive, you can find it from your list and edit it to be active if you need it for a class. Or you can create new categories by going Create and Category to create something that you need that isn't on your list. I keep just the categories I'm using active and I inactivate all of the categories that maybe I've used in the past, but I'm not using currently. I also want to make sure that the categories I need are available for all the classes that they pertain to. So when I go to select classes, I can select the classes individually or select all of the courses that that category needs to be available for. So mine's all classes, so I'm good to go. Once I know that the categories are active and created, I can go to Settings, Traditional Grade Calculations. And this will allow me to use category weighting if that's something you need for your class. So I'm going to start with my first class, and I'm going to click on the Action Pencil. Here I've selected, instead of total points, I've selected category weighting. I've selected the category that I want to weight first and the percentage of that weight. So here I've made it one because 100% of my students' grade is based on summative assessment. If it was a traditional year, I might also add another category that's category weighting as well. That is maybe the final exam. And then I would have the summative 80, final exam 20 based on school policy. Now I also track assignments into the formative assessment category, but my formative assessment category is 0% of the final grade. So it's an active category and it will show up in the students' grades and on their grade account, but it won't actually be calculated into their final grade. So I'm going to remove this back down to my 100% summative, so even though I don't have formative assessments listed here, I can still use it as a category that's 0% of the final grade, so I can show the feedback without having it adjust the final scores. When you have it all set up, you can click Save. If you're using the same category weighting for multiple classes, you can click on this little settings gear and copy traditional grade calculations within a class, or excuse me, to another class. And you can choose, this is the one that I set up. And then I can choose where I want to also have that same weighting. And so I can select all of the other classes for both semesters um, and have that weighting for all of the classes in all of the semesters. And then I would validate and it would be set up for all of my courses. Step two in this process is to set up categories in Schoology so that we can have matching grades in both locations. So I'm going to start by going to Schoology and Grade Setup. Within this section, I can create the categories that I'm using for the course. So I have formative assessments weighted at zero and summative assessments weighted at 100. The default is not to weight categories, so I had to check this box right here so that I could weight the categories so it would match what I have going on in Power Teacher Pro. They're not configured yet, but at least the category weightings are matching. If you need additional categories, you can click the plus add, and it will allow you to create new categories. I like setting these up at, in advance so that I can use them as I create assignments and other activities in Schoology. Once you have it all set up, you can save the changes. Mm -hmm. 
just like Power Teacher Pro, it is possible to copy your settings to other classes. So if you have multiple classes with the same settings, you can copy the settings by clicking on this box right here and copy your categories and your weighting to other courses. So this is a nice option to save you time if you have similar setups in multiple classes. I have my classes linked. So by creating categories here, it's available in both my first hour and my second hour course. The final step is to configure PowerSchool to Schoology. So I'm going to scroll down in Schoology on the left menu to the PowerSchool option. Only course admin have the ability to configure PowerSchool to Schoology. I have linked courses, so I'll need to configure both courses individually. So here where it says 1A, whatever I do to 1A, I'm also going to make sure that it's the same for 2A, and I'll have to do those again separately. So don't forget this drop down if you have linked classes. I'm going to click on configuration, and typically I do this before any assignments have been created to make sure everything works smoothly. This box right here is not a default checked box, and it really should be. So please check this box to automatically shorten assignment titles. If this box is not checked and saved, then any titles longer than 50 characters will not sync to PowerSchool and the grades will not be accurate. So please check this box before you do anything else for all of the courses. And then don't forget to save changes at the bottom. Here's where I configure the tracking from Schoology to PowerSchool. It's a one-way communication right now. So everything that I grade, I grade in Schoology and allow it to carry over to PowerSchool. I do not make changes to grades in PowerSchool. Okay. We're not doing final exams this semester, so I don't have anything here, but I have my formative assessments category in Schoology. We'll track to formative assessments category in PowerSchool. Same with my summative assessments to my summative assessments. Because the programs are linked, it will recognize the active categories that I have in PowerSchool and allow just those options. And so it makes for easy tracking. And I try to keep the names the same, right? So I don't have multiple categories that are similar. I try to keep it as straightforward as possible. Once I've set up this tracking, I'm going to save changes. Once I've got confirmation that it's been saved, I'm going to click on that drop down to go to the other section of my linked classes and do the same thing. So go to configuration, make sure the box is checked, and make sure the categories have tracked for success. Double check regularly to make sure that the sync is working properly. Right, you want to make sure that your grades in Schoology are matching the grades in PowerSchool. If you need to force a sync, you can go to the sync status and sync changes, or you can sync from the Schoology gradebook. Right? And then you can see which ones are working or if there's any errors that have occurred. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.